Hello everyone, Michael here, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the VitalPal shotgun microphone. Full disclosure, VitalPal sent this microphone to me for free so that I can make a review about it. However, no money exchanged hands and I wasn't paid to say anything good about this microphone. Therefore, my review will be totally honest. For today, we're gonna to be reviewing this Vital Pal, but we're also going to be comparing it to its sort of more expensive version, the Rode Video Micro. As you can see, here are the two microphones. We're going to be doing some tests, but first, let's talk about build quality. The microphones side by side are pretty much identical by themselves, but when we took at the actual bracket that's supposed to absorb any vibrations, you can see that there's a clear size difference as well as color difference, and overall, uh, the Rode's feels and looks quite a bit more premium. Here is the bracket that you get with Vitopal. It's all red and the plastic is honestly not good at all. Quite stiff, I'm not sure if this actually does anything anyways. Plus this actual mounting thing right here, this is not the highest quality either. Then the actual microphone feels honestly quite the same as Rode, so that's a plus. And the cable, this is good because it's quite long if you're gonna be connecting it to an extension so that you can boom this microphone above you. But if you're using this on top of your camera, this long cable can actually get quite annoying. Rhodes cable is a little shorter and I think that's just a little bit better for a microphone like this. And we can also discuss the dead cat it's pretty much the same as Rode's. So when we're talking about the Vitopal in comparison with the Rode microphone, the Rode microphone is twice as much. Last time I checked, the Vitopal is $40 and the Rode microphone is $80, pretty much double the price of the Vitopal. And when we're talking about build quality, do I think the Rode microphone is twice as good as the Vitopal? And I would say yes. The mounting bracket on Rode, the wheel is nice and big, doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It is plastic, but doesn't feel like cheap plastic. But honestly, for the price of $40, the Vital Pal is quite solid. And next up, the more important side is the audio quality of the Vital Pal compared to the Rode Video Micro. We're gonna do two tests in studio and two tests outside. All right guys, so now we are outside of my house and right now I'm on, the, I'm on the Rode Video Micro but in a second I'm gonna switch to the Vital Pal and basically we're gonna do a test like right now where I'm just walking in the park there's a really minimal background noise and then we're gonna go to a very busy road and we're gonna see how the two mics compare so right now I'm on the Rode Video Micro this is how it sounds like at an arm's length vlogging and this is how the Vital Pal sounds at an arm's length of vlogging. So right now I'm on the Rode Video Micro and this is how the Vital Pal sounds. And this is the Vital Pal at a very busy street, literally right beside me. There's so many cars passing by. Okay, and this is the Rode Video Micro with a really busy street beside me. So now we're in a studio and we're gonna do some comparisons. Basically how this is gonna work is first we're gonna do a test comparing when the camera's on the on the camera and then we're gonna bring the mic much closer because I know some people actually use the Rode microphone as like an over the head microphone and they sort of put it here for some reason instead of using like a studio microphone so we're gonna be conducting those two tests let's get started this is how the studio microphone sounds like this is how the Rode microphone sounds like and this is how the Vitopal microphone sounds like so I'm using the exact same audio gain settings on my camera as I did on the road and I'm gonna keep using the Vital Pal for now. This is what it would sound like if it was on top of the camera in a studio like scenario. Keep in mind you might hear an echo because this is my bedroom. There's no sound panels or anything so this is just a room. And now we're gonna do an up close test where I'll put the microphones around here and you guys will see the difference it makes if you bring these microphones closer to your mouth or if you boom them up here. And this is how the Vital Pal would sound like if it was boomed up really close to your mouth. And this is the Rode Video Micro. This is how it would sound like if it was boomed up really close to your mouth. Now we're on the studio mic. You guys should be able to tell that we're on this microphone. And all right, we're back from the two tests. I've loaded up the footage behind me. I've listened to it a few times and now I can make my statement whether which microphone sounds better. So first, I think we should discuss the studio situation. You can barely hear the difference between the two microphones. I think where there's a small difference is the Rode has a slightly higher gain, but the Vital Pal has slightly more bass. Obviously, these tests weren't scientific, and I'm just saying this based on what I can hear, 
but from based from what I can hear, the Vitopel has slightly more bass. If you don't pay that much attention, these sound pretty much the same. When they're brought closer to your mouth, you can hear a little bit more of the bass from the Vitopel. I think in that situation, the Vitopel actually sounds better than when we're going outside. And if you're using these, these in an outdoor situation, I think they sound the same. I could not tell the difference when there was no traffic and I could not tell the difference when there was traffic. You get really great sound value with the Vitopow and it makes the Rode look quite overpriced. So when we're talking about sound quality, is the Rode microphone twice as good based on the price? No, I do not think it's twice as good at all actually. I think this Vitopow can actually compete really well with the Rode microphone. They're pretty much the same, except the Vitopow adds a little more bass and the Rode adds a little bit more gain. So honestly, the decision lies in are you gonna care about the build quality? I can't really tell you much about the durability of the shock mount on, on the Vitopal, but I can say that I've had this Rode Video Micro since forever, and I've had no quality build issues with this microphone, so I can really say that the $80 that this costs is worth it. Honestly, for $40, I think this is an absolute steal. You're gonna get a microphone that sounds like an $80 microphone. It's obviously got, it's made in China signs and obviously the build quality is not the best, but for the price, I don't think anyone should be complaining. Again, thank you to Vitopal for sending your microphone in for review. So if you wanna purchase this uh, microphone, the link will be in the description below. You can buy it on Amazon. And if you enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because like 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. And if you could leave a like, that would help me out a lot as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.